This video will showcase how to um, order a menu item, access modifiers, uh, do miscellaneous sale, and uh, send a kitchen message. So first thing you're going to do, you're going to log in. Uh, you're going to select your room uh, where you want to uh, put the order. So I'm going to just use the dining room, and I'm going to select the table. Now, once you select the ticket, um, you're either going to be presented with the screen where you already have menu items or depending on the room you can be on the info screen. To switch between the screens you can just click on the ticket itself and then it's going to bring you back to the menu screen. Um, on the bottom uh, left next to the exit button uh, if you have multiple menus they're going to show up here so we can have a, like a breakfast, dinner, um, you know a special menu and then all the categories um, are going to be show up, shown up here on the bottom and you can um, if you have more than uh, the screen accommodates you can just uh, uh, swipe them around um, so you can select um, a category right here on the bottom um, it's called section and then we're gonna go with pizzas so now if you select an item if the item uh, has modifiers they're gonna show up uh, if the modifiers are required if the modifiers are not required, let me see if I do have an item that has um, maybe... Um, so yeah, so if the, uh, the item didn't have uh, required modifiers, you would have to click on the item and any modifiers would show up here. But um, you can always put in a special instruction if the um, item doesn't have modifiers. So for example, you click on the item and you want to put in maybe... Um, these ones come in uh, hot, you don't want hot, so um, I'm not hot. So this message is going to go to the kitchen once you send it. And you can keep adding items uh, to the ticket. Um, now, for one reason or another, uh, maybe you want to charge for something that's not in the POS system. For these kind of purposes, we do have an item that's called miscellaneous. Um, so we call it miss. Uh, you can click on it, and then what's going to prompt you is uh, for the price or you want to charge for. So you can actually put in the price. Maybe you want to charge five um, dollars uh, and ninety-nine cents for it. And then not only that, but I can also change the name of the miscellaneous item. So I can call it maybe side of sauce. There. And then I can add extra instruction here. Um, you know, um, add garlic maybe. we go and then you can send the order right there uh, from that screen um, another thing I want to show you is that we do have a search bar here so if you're not sure under which category uh, I mean section the item is you can actually search for it so you can type click here and maybe you're looking for miscellaneous and what this is gonna do it's gonna list out all the places you can find miscellaneous uh, miscellaneous items. So as you can see, I have miscellaneous under multiple places. So Italian demo and then pizza section. Um, Italian demo uh, primi platti uh, pasta. Uh, Italian demo antipasti um, appetizers. And then um, these other ones as well. So this is one of the valuable uh, features that we have um, that uh, are ben beneficial when you have new employees and you're training them out. You know, um, it takes time to learn where all the items in the POS are. So this kind of um, is like a cheat sheet that they can use in uh, search for the item. Awesome. Well, thank you for watching this one.